What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to TTP Sports, and let's go, baby! Andrew McCutcheon walks it off for the Phillies as they come back to beat the Washington Nationals by a score of 6-5. to five. And to start off, the Phillies had no goddamn business being in this game. They had no goddamn business winning it. Offense threw half of the game. Bad. Spencer Howard? Bad. The bullpen? Okay, pretty decent, besides Brandon Kinsler. The bullpen actually stepped up for us, and you know, Archie Bradley did have a little bit of scuffs in that ninth inning, but we won't talk about that. And well, we definitely will, but you know what I mean. But the offense, they wake up in the ha later half of the game. Reese Hoskins with a three-run bomb to make it a one-run lead for the Nationals. They then extended their lead in the ninth inning. And you get Andrew McCutcheon walking it off. You got Gene Segura starting it off with a hit. Bryce Harper working a walk after basically he was pissed off that entire at bat because the home plate umpire in this damn ball game on both sides was flat out terrible. He was. He had no idea what the strike zone was. One pitch was a strike. The very next, the, the same pitch later, it wasn't a strike. It was bad. It was very bad. And it was bad. That's basically the only description that you can use for the home plate umpire tonight. And they had no business winning this game. Uh, this game was an eyesore. Basically throughout the entire half of it until the Reese Hoskins home run. Then it was another eyesore until the Andrew McCutcheon walk-off bomb. But hey, a win is a win and we will take that. We will take that any day of the week. And the offense, once again, continues to struggle with runners in scoring position. They had bases loaded in the first inning. Reese Hoskins with one out. He flew, he flew out to Juan Soto, but it was really shallow. I have no idea why Dusty Wathen is sending Gene Segura in this situation. I don't know why. I can probably understand because Juan Soto has a bad arm in right field. But still, why are you taking that risk with one out? When you have Didi coming up to the... The plate with two outs and the bases loaded. I just don't understand that thought process. So you don't score that inning. And then eventually the Nationals get on the board. Although because I feel like this is actually what happened. And this kind of sounds really sad. But it's true. And it's reality with Spencer Howard. But he gets a hit in the bottom of the third inning. And then eventually Gene Segura should have grounded out into a double play. But for some reason Trey Turner didn't want to throw at the second base. He instead threw Gene Segura out. And then eventually Spencer Howard went over the third base. So and then you saw it in that top of the fourth inning. Spencer Howard's velocity dramatically dropped once again as we're used to seeing. So did Trey Turner tactically not throw Spencer Howard out so he would get exhausted by running the base paths? Basically, I know, basically every team probably knows this about Spencer Howard to get him exhausted. And he will dip in velocity dramatically. But... Honestly, that's very sad if that's the case. That is very sad. Very, very sad. And he leaves with a disclosed injury. They say he was a blister on his middle finger. Wait, it just... What is Spencer Howard at this point? What is he? Okay, he had a solid first three innings of the ball game. But he can't go deep. He can't go past four. He can't get the five. He can't get the six. What is the point? What is the point? What is Spencer Howard? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Because he gets into a little bit of a jam in that fourth inning. Juan Soto, okay, the Phillies caught a little bit of a break. Because Juan Soto grounded into a double play with two runners on. But the runner did eventually move the third base. But then Josh Bell barely missed a home run. He hit the top of the fence in right field. And it turns into a triple, which makes it one to nothing. And then the very next batter is Josh Harrison. He triples down the line to make it a two nothing ball game. And then Spencer Howard once again, allowing a hit to Geraldo Parra. And he makes it a 3-0 ball game. Joe Girardi elects to take Spencer Howard finally out of the ball game at that point. In comes Brandon Kinsler. Three pitches into the very at bat. And he allows Apes RBI single to Victor Robles. And he makes it a 4-0 ball game. There you go. Phillies continue to struggle with runners in scoring position. They barely get any base runners going on the rest of the game. Until you get to the bottom of the sixth inning. Philly's got a couple of base runners on. Starts off Bryce Harper. He gets a single. And then Andrew McCutcheon. He gets a double off the left field wall. He got runners on second and third base for Reese Hoskins. Battling throughout his at bat. And he golfs one in the left field. And it makes it a 4-3 to three ball game. Let's fucking go. 
And then Didi Gregorius, he gets a single, but then the Phillies eventually get out the rest of the inning. For some reason, I don't know why, because Didi Gregorius was on second base during this point, but the Nats elect to bring on a left-handed hitter, and for some reason, Brad Miller is pinch hitting, and it was the worst at bat I've ever seen. Once again, for some reason, I don't know why some players on this team decide to bunt with two outs. I just don't understand it. I don't know if that's a thing by Joe Girardi saying. I don't know if that's a, something the base coaches are telling them to do. I have no idea. Or if that's just a batter's mentality for some reason coming up to the play. I have no idea why. But it was a terrible at bat by Brad Miller. Okay, the f- and then you go into the top of the eighth inning. The Nationals get some runners on. Actually, this is the top of the seventh. I was getting a little bit ahead of myself because nothing really happened in the top of the eighth. Nationals get some base runners, but Ronald Torres kind of saves Hector Neris' ass because he allowed the base runners, but then eventually, a line out right to Torres, gets him out of the inning, saves his ass, and then you go into the rest of the ball game. Top of the eighth, nothing happens. Hector Neris had a pretty solid inning for him. Pretty solid outing from Hector Neris regardless. Then you go into the bottom of the eighth. Phillies get base runners. And you get Didi Gregorius. He gets a single. Odubel Herrera, he gets a single. So you got a couple of runners on. They eventually get the second and third. Alec Bohm battling throughout his at-bat. We experience, once again, the terrible strike zone from the umpire. Alec Bohm strikes out looking on a pitch that, yes, was on the outside of the plate. Probably was a ball. But the umpire rung him up regardless. Honestly, in my opinion, too risky of a pitch to take. Yes, it was a ball. Yes, the umpire was bad. But you got to protect the plate. You got to protect it. Foul it off if you have to. Find a way. Find a way to keep battling. You can't go down looking. That's probably one of the worst ways you can go. I can understand going down swinging because you're at least trying to protect the plate. But don't, going down looking, you just can't do that. Regardless of where the pitch is. Because you know the umpire has been terrible tonight. And you know that has a chance of being a strike. You got to battle. You got to keep battling. Top of the ninth inning. Nationals get the bases loaded. Didi Gregorius makes an error off of a Josh Bell grounder. Nationals manage to score a run. R.G. Bradley manages to get out of the inning with all oh, slightly scathed. He allowed the run, but it's still a 5-3 ball game for the Nationals. We go into the top of the knife. Brad Hand comes out. Yesterday, he blew a save against the Baltimore Orioles. Gene Segura doubles down the right field line. Bryce Harper in his at bat. There was one pitch he didn't like that was called a strike. He was arguing with the umpire for a little bit. Thankfully, he didn't get thrown out. Worked out a walk. In comes Andrew McCutcheon. First attempt, Brad Hinton tries to go out and will pick off Bryce Harper. Gets a little nervous from Bryce Harper because you're expecting him to steal the base. Very next pitch. Technically the first pitch to McCutcheon. Right down the middle. Opposite field bomb into the stands. And we have a walk-off home run for Andrew McCutcheon. Three-run bomb. Phillies win this game 6-5. to five. Go into the box score. Pitchers. It's a lot of pitchers used. Spencer Howard. Three and two-thirds innings. Six is allowed. Forward runs. Two strikeouts. One of those runs was given up when Kinsler was on the mound, but the base runner was charged to Howard. Not a good day for Howard. Don't know what he is. I just don't. Kinsler. Got an out. Two hits allowed. Not good. Connor Brogdon pitched an inning, got a strikeout. Good outing from him. Alvarado comes in, goes through the inning, allows a walk, three walks, and he strikes out one without allowing a run. Hector Neris comes in for two innings, two walks, three strikeouts. Archie Bradley, he gets the win. He pitches the ninth inning, two hits allowed, one earned run, one walk. Go into the lineup. It was very quiet early on, but then eventually the bats woke up. Gene Segura, 2 for 4 with a run scored. JT Romuto, 1 for 5, 2 strikeouts. Not the best night for him. Bryce Harper, 1 for 2 with 2 runs scored and 3 walks. Andrew McCutcheon, 2 for 4 with 3 RBIs on the walk-off shot. Reese Hoskins, 1 for 4, 3 RBIs on his 3-run shot. Didi Gregorius, 2 for 4. Ronald Torres, 0 for 3. Odubel Herrera, 1 for 4. Spencer Howard went 1 for 1 in the bat that he had. Oh yeah, Mickey Moniak did call up too. What, do you, what did he do? He struck out. <laughs> what more do you expect? Brad Miller struck out in his at bat. Alec Bohm struck out in his pinch hit appearance as well. In regards to runners in scoring position, the Phillies were two for ten, and they left nine bases or runners left on base. Okay, 
You steal this first game in a game where you had no business being in, being involved in. No business. Got tomorrow. Got Matt Moore going up against Fetty. Bullpen used a lot today. Are we going to expect Matt Moore to, you know, go five, six innings? Probably not. So you got you got away with winning this ball game. Are you going to get away with winning it tomorrow? I have no idea which Matt Moore you're going to get on the mound. Probably a bad Matt Moore. Your bullpen, I have no idea what is going to be available for Joe Girardi tomorrow. I, I just don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> you got me there. I have no idea. The rest of the series, you got Wednesday's matchup, Patrick Corbin going up against Zach Wheeler. And then you're going to have Thursday's matchup, which it sounds like it's going to be John Lester going up against Vince Velasquez. It's still to be determined, but all the reports are saying it might be John Lester. It also could be according to if Max Scherzer is healthy or not. It also could be according to if Max Scherzer is not traded by the end of the week before the trade deadline, too. So, you steal this game. You steal it. A game that you had no business of being a part of. Find a way to win the series. Find a way. I'm not saying sweep. Find a way. The hope's still not there, though. I still don't have hope for this team because I know what they are at the end of the day. But if they're still going to try and do this, win the goddamn series, I'm just going to state what you have to do. No hope involved, no nothing. I'm just going to state the facts and what you have to do. You have to win the series if you still want to compete. You have to win multiple series if you want to compete. And if you're going all and buying at the trade deadline, you have to win series. You have to win this one. You can't be splitting four game sets, especially against your division. And especially against the team of the Nationals who have been struggling this month and have been the worst team in baseball this month. You gotta win this series. You just gotta. No ifs, ands, or buts. You got you stole one today with one of your worst pitchers on the mound, and you're gonna have another worst pitcher on the mound tomorrow with Matt Moore. And possibly another worst pitcher on Thursday in Vince Velasquez. You're gonna have your ace right now in Zach Wheeler on Wednesday. You gotta win this series. That's all I'm gonna say. You have to win. So what are your thoughts on this game, everyone? What are your thoughts on the pitching performance? What are your thoughts on the offense being quiet and then erupting late? Andrew McCutcheon's walk-off home run. Your thoughts on the Phillies in general. Leave your comments and opinions down in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to drop a like on this video. Don't forget to check out the Painted Lines, which I'm a part of. Their links will be down in the description below. Don't forget to check out the links to Broads Media, the Flyer to Pod merchandise website, and also Flyers Nitty Gritty. All that good stuff is down in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, everyone. And I will see you next time.